We have despoiled our Great Lakes for many generations. We have extracted wealth from the Great Lakes and left a legacy of either contamination or loss of habitat or invasive species in this case. And we are slowly but inexorably trying to turn that back and put the pieces back together that manifest what we have heard across the state from, at least in Michigan, 9.8 million people on what they see the future of the Great Lakes to be. The Little River Band of Ottawa Indians is right on the shores of Lake Michigan. And thankfully, my forefathers, our forefathers, when they were thinking about what they wanted to protect, it was the water resources. Zebra and quagga mussels were first discovered in Lake St. Clair in 1986. And in just three years, by 1989, they were present in all five of the Great Lakes. In the ecosystems, the mussels filter a large quantity of the water, which impacts the algae that tends to grow in the water body. The mussels can selectively feed on the native beneficial algae while selectively rejecting and thus allowing the negative microcystis and blue-green algaes to become more prolific. This application method here in Round Lake is somewhat new. So this project will investigate many aspects of using Zequinox to control invasive mussels within the lake ecosystem. Thousand microorganisms were, were isolated and tested, and one showed activity against the Dracaenid mussels. A remarkable discovery, and that's the way nature is. Quite remarkable at being able to find something that's sitting there in nature that just is that selective against the Dracaenid mussels and doesn't harm anything else. This project is interesting because it's a collaborative effort between state, federal, and universities and private sector groups all coming together to try and expand research to control zebra mussels. For the application to be successful, we're hoping to find that we're not really seeing a change in the pattern of emergence with insects. rewarding to see all of this come together. A lot of very talented individuals, a lot of really great organizations putting resources into this problem. And it's just been an absolutely great experience functioning as, as the, the hub bringing all of this together on this specific project.